This intro needs more centipede. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. That's not how that's supposed to go. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah. Normally I, I click this because I alt tab out of things, but welcome back. This is episode 10 of Zima, or the Arcadia series, actually. I was just, rec or not the Arcadia, Jesus, Pixel Hack. Okay, episode 10 of Pixel Hack. Ugh, <sighs> okay, we got it right. All right, we're getting a little bit of lag here. Not sure why. Probably because of the particles, but oh well. Uh, we can actually sleep right now. Um, I was supposed to do a Q&A for this episode, but I don't have enough questions. And today was supposed to be a Mindsy day where <clears throat> I go and I record Mindsy, but the servers were kind of lagging today, so I didn't do that. Um, hmm, I have a bad feeling. I'm getting 20 frames right now. I'm not sure why, so I'm, uh, eh. I don't know why that is. Hold on, let me check something real quick. Uh, nothing's really using a whole lot of memory. Fine, okay. I'm not sure. I think I might have to go check my farm. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Give me that. Unless I'm just having weird net lag. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so this episode we were supposed to go and cave on a Q&A caving adventure. So, I guess that's not going to happen. Because... Apparently, I don't have enough questions, so whatever. I don't even care. I do what I want. <laughs> I think we'll, I'll think I'll just do that another time. Um, I don't think enough people watch my channel to really care that much anyway, so it's all good. It's all good. We do what we do. Actually, we need more food. Um, I was going to go over to the skeleton farm and check up on that and see how that was doing. Uh, hopefully, I would. I still would like to go caving today. Simply because we need more supplies. Uh, we need iron, specifically. Um, it'd actually be cool if we could go get more... Uh, uh, more diamonds as well. And hopefully start working on this thing. Because I, I, mm, I like this underground base. Like, it's really nice and neat. Um, we have to work on it a little bit more, though. Uh, let's see here. We should have more food in here. Yeah. Uh, that's not going to do, though. Do we have any wheat anywhere? Um, we might not, I don't think. There's five steak in there. There's nothing in, oops, nothing in there. Uh, it's gonna take me a while to get used to these, used to these chests. Cause there's so many chests and there's so much stuff lying around that I don't know where everything is, so. What we're gonna do is uh, I wanted to grab bones. Where's my bones at? Are they right here? Yes, okay. Let's just grab a stack of these. Let's convert it into the thing we love as bone meal. Let's put some of it away. Oops. Put that right there. I actually want to grow potatoes too. I want to start growing potatoes. I have so much stuff I can grow. I think I'm going to wait for the automatic farms for that one, which we. I don't know. I don't want to start what I want to start working on. Because um, there's still stuff that I want to do as well. But I guess we'll just do whatever. doesn't even matter. Uh, we're going to breed some cows. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to go check out this village over here. And see about making a villager farm for iron golems. Uh, to make... Because in the upcoming update, which is 1.8... Um, and it's already in the snapshot as well. I haven't done a snapshot video yet. I, I don't think I'm going to do that series just because there's so much to cover and there's so many snapshots that come out. So it's kind of hard to do that series, but we'll see what I can do. Or I'll see what I can do. Um, but for the most part, what I want to do is I want to see about the possibility of creating an automatic wheat farm or like any farm in general. I don't know if it works on like potatoes and stuff, but I know it works on wheat. Um, what happens is when a um, what, what do I want to say? Uh, when the um, wheat is fully grown, the villagers will actually identify it and they will immediately attract to it. So they will attract to it and then they'll break it, which I mean it's pretty cool actually, and it it helps. Uh, kind of signal everything but the problem with it is it 
doesn't break it and they don't pick it up which is kind of stupid in my opinion but whatever I mean we can try to figure something out I mean we can probably think of a way to like change it so that you can um, I don't know that's gonna be kind of tough because we'd have to create like some sort of pressure play system you know what hmm I wonder if it'd be possible to create a system that will all right so let me just let me just like set up a little thing here okay um so you have your villager standing on this block and you have your wheat and stuff all right here and between these two you have a pressure plate that see now here's the part where it gets confusing because we'd have to have two and then the villager would be here but you'd have to reset the villager every time unless see it would make it complicated <laughs> I don't know I'll think about it and we'll figure it out oh uh, I hope these guys all didn't die I think they did I think zombies came through and killed them all dang it that's unfortunate yeah, looks like it looks like they did. Zombies came through and killed them. That sucks. Well, it's, I I guess we can just find another village, I guess, and we'll just farm them instead. Hopefully, we can try to get them hooked up to another portal and uh get them all worked up. I totally forgot that there was uh there was books bookshelves here. I totally forgot about them. I could have totally just saved my time and just walk a few blocks to the village right here and grab the rest of these books. Oh my god, why didn't I do this before? Now I can do level 30 enchants. Ugh. I swear, like, I overlook the smallest details in these stuff, and it's like, whatever. I don't even, I don't even care. Um, I guess we'll just set it up and be on our way. So... I have some good news actually, and it's actually pretty pretty cool that we're able to do this. But Pixel Hack, I think I talked about this in one of my last episodes, but Pixel Hack is officially getting a website. I will be building it and working on it and stuff like that. So it won't be like a f super quick thing because I'm I'm gonna put time into it and I'm gonna make it look nice and stuff. And Cranks is gonna do all of our art, but um. It's going to be main, not like for anyone specifically, it's mainly going to be there just so we can communicate with one another and also um, get to know our communities a little bit better. Because as individuals, we have a fairly big community and it's kind of difficult to stay in touch with everyone when oh my god how do I do this there jeez I don't need seven I need five so one two three four five give me all this alright let's put this on our hotbar I don't know why I'm lagging so much this is weird I think I'm gonna go check that farm um, I think I'm gonna put a disable button on there can I do level 30 enchants now this I find Yes, sweet. Okay, I can. Uh, let's go check out our farm real quick. I'm going to talk to you guys in the meantime. Um, so basically, the site as a whole, it's more or less, it's not so much to just, you know, hey, we got a website. It's, it's really to really communicate with one another as far as, you know, putting our videos somewhere where everyone can see them. Because most people, um, they don't have a Twitter or at least some of our viewers don't have Twitter. What the hell? Isn't this rare? I don't fucking know. Um, but some of our viewers, they don't have Twitter or anything, so they don't follow us on Twitter. I know a lot of Cranks' viewers, They ha I think most of his uh, viewers are from Twitter. Which I mean, which is fine. I mean, that's a perfect way to get it. I mean, it's, as long as people watch your videos, I mean, do whatever you want. But I didn't start off on Twitter and neither did Cranks, really. He kind of just did it on his own. But um, So, basically, the idea was 
was to create a website that would allow us to one post our con all of our content to one place and be able to uh, sponsor each other as a group and it would really help us get like news and stuff out there and Minty he's going to be setting up a podcast for oh yeah holy crap whoa bro oh yeah we got to turn this thing off holy crap i'm getting oh buddy this isn't even cool oh no oh <laughs> crap oh dear this is bad this is really bad we need to disable this as soon as possible that'll do for now Look at all of them. What? What? Alright. Just light it up. You got these two morons fighting right here. Oh, man. What? How? I am so confused right now. Am I looking at the right numbers? Alright. If... I'm looking at this correctly, there's 700 entities. And whenever I look over here, I lag. Am I looking at the right numbers? I feel like I am, but I'm not. What the heck? I'm pretty sure that the chunk isn't even loaded. Like, for the most part, I don't think this chunk is even loaded. Um... But there's 700 entities. Like, where are they coming from? They're in this direction, too. This general vicinity. We need to check this out, because this is bad. Like, this is giving me some awful frame rate right now. I don't have a cobblestone piece. Give me this iPhone. All right. Yeah, we're going to go investigate this, because what the toaf is going on here? There's several hundred... Ugh. 700 entities, but from where... And they're in this direction. Let's see here. Hold on. I just want to see. Are they all stuck in here? Ow. I wonder if they're all stuck in that pipe. They might be. Because once I look straight in there, they're all in there. Yeah. You know what? I think I might have to tear, tear that pipe down. I might just have to. Ow! Stop shooting at me. You can't hit me that fast anyway. Freaking skelly. Get out of here, dude. You're not even good. You don't even have MLG skills. I might, um... Yeah, I might do a... Butcher here. Just to see what happens. I don't remember the commands for it either. So this might be... This is going to be interesting to figure out. Um... So, yeah. Let me get back on... Jesus, that's not what I want to do. I want to go there. Um... Let me get back on topic here. So, basically, the website... As I already said, it's more or less so we can post our content on and, you know, really show our community what we all have. Um, Minty, he's going to take the Team Pixel Hack channel. He's going to make it kind of like a podcasting channel, kind of. And we're going to put special events up there and stuff. So team events that we do, it'll all be put up on there and whatnot. Uh, the channel, or the website, is the threshold for upcoming things as well um, one of the things that we've been aspiring to do for a long time is creating a we'll get him out of here hey you come here fine I'll just go in my bunker don't tell me what to do I'm gonna go dig out my farms um so for a long, for the longest time, we've been thinking about creating a fan server, and this has been a long time ordeal that we've been just constantly thinking about because it's something that we really want to see for the team, but because of the lack of ability to do it, it's kind of tough. Kill this spider! Come at me, bro. Mommy, bro. 
Dude, fight me. Yeah, there we go. Um, the, the lack of ability to do it, and by that I mean, like, you know, having servers and stuff to do it. Um, I'll look up commands while you guys are listening here. So, it's... We really want to do it mainly because we want to be able to connect with our group, with our people, with our fan base, and it's it's kind of a good way to do it too because most people, when they come to us, they ask, you know, oh, can I join Team Pixel Hack? And here's the th here's the thing with me. For me, there's a few things that people need to have when joining the server or the group you need to have a decent channel you know and a lot of people some of the people that join you know they have really good channels but the thing is they're too young most of the time and I, I don't mean to say that because you know I I don't like kids which I I don't like I personally I just don't like kids they annoy me they are really bothersome now the kids that come to us, you know, oh shit, fuck. All right, let's go. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Do you even lift? I don't think he lifts. I think he's a scared little bitch. But anyway, um, the kids that apply, you know, I, I, they're like 13, 14, and that's a decent age. But the thing is, it's it's not because we don't like people it's just we can't have people that lack motive motivation and a lot of the teenagers that come to us you know we we keep an eye on them and a week later you know their channel dies or you know they reset they restart their channel every other week or something and that's something we can't have on pixel hack you know a lot of the members that we have, Minty, Cranks, you know, they all restarted their channels, but they restarted because they wanted to keep their subscri their subscriber base active. You know, they wanted to keep make sure that their subscribers were active, and it, it really proved it really goes to show, you know, how many people are really dedicated to you. And me personally, you know, I have 137 subscribers. And I appreciate every single one of them. But the thing is, I don't get as many s views as I do to my sub ratio. And it's, it, you know, most of you think, oh, well, you only have 137 subs to begin with. You know, why does it matter? It's more just, uh, I don't know how to put it into words. Like, it, it's just weird, you know. You know, because you look at yourself and you're like, well, you know, I make fairly decent content, I feel. And I feel like I do a good enough job. But. You know, some people just think otherwise, and I just accept it, so it's whatever, really. But, so, really, morally speaking, we just, we need to have professionals on our group. And by professionals, I mean people that really are into YouTube, they really want to do it, and they're going to do it for a while, you know, before heading off to college or whatever, or, you know, in my case, I am going to go to college and stuff like that, so... I really need to step it up and you know work on this a little bit more but in the meantime you know stuff like that there's so much more that I could talk about but we are gonna post a cut a uh, podcast soon if not because I'm recording this video beforehand which we're doing it on the day of the I'm recording this we're doing it this Saturday I think and it'll be up sometime Sunday I believe but if you guys haven't already or if this video is up afterwards i'll post a link in the description for that if it's not up by the time i post this video i will leave a link to the channel where you guys can go check it out but the episode's over here and i'm sorry i kind of just like walked around there for the last bit but i was kind of confused and i'm trying to figure out why it's lagging so much and it's not so bad over here it's over that in that area that i need to go focus on because that's 700 entities and it's kind of freaking me out but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed playing it. If you guys liked the video, please.